Hey guys, this is Fairway 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for Nintendo DS. Last time we left off, we uh, we kind of just persuaded Detective Gumshoe to let us in uh, Chief Gant's office, and he did. But he decided to join us, so that's all fine and dandy as well. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and finally let's uh, actually take a look around what's going on. We already talked to Gumshoe, so now it's just time to examine some stuff. One thing that always popped in my mind was this thing right here. This is a safe, isn't it? Safe. That word's ripe with intrigue. Um, okay, if you say so. It looks like a code name code needs to be entered in this panel to open it. Oh, really? Uh, a seven-digit number. I think I might know what it is. Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. Oh, I know, he wanted to try out my birthday. It's... Yeah, we don't give a damn. I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. Oh boy, hold on a minute, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, so yeah. Here goes nothing. Well, if you guys just think about it just a teeny bit, a seven digit number and Phoenix automatically says, I think I have a hunch. What's a seven digit number that's used? It would be, um, it would be an, an ID card, right? Now, if you look at the ID report, uh, card, re card record report, whatever it's called, we have all the names except for one. And specifically, with the number 777, blah, blah, blah. So, why don't we just put that in? So, let's see if that works. And, bingo! Oh, well, there you go. Well, Phoenix uh, stole my line. What number did you enter? Whose birthday was that, pal? Seven 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 seven. The final ID card number on that record. What? The number on the mysterious executive officer who entered that room that day. You mean seven seven blah, 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 blah. that ID number? I think you're the one seven shy this time. This can only mean one thing. That's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Hell yeah! Um, take a look. What's in here? Is there any money in there? How much does he have stashed away? Look, it's a, a, a shard from a broken cup. This somehow looks familiar. Where have I seen it before? There's something in here too. Something else in here. What's this? Looks like a piece of leather cloth. This is a hand. This is a handprint, isn't it? Hey, I saw someone wearing a shirt like that once. You think the chief made up the design? Um, I don't think so. Oh, well, that was just a thought. Is that it? Is that all that was in the safe? Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it, uh, and a broken shard from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence. But unless you can prove they have something to do with this case, I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck in the line here. Great, now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. How are these two items related to the SL9 incident? Oop, ow. I hit my... Ow. Come on. Oh, I'm... Damn, I skipped it. Well, I'm sure you guys read it. Okay, so... How are they relevant? Well... The broken piece of the cup or whatever... I think it looks familiar from this unstable jar. Did of Gumshoe, could you have another look at this jar? Oh, let's put that back together. Oh, those were the days. It's kind of early to be nostalgic. Wasn't this jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right, one of the shards have an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know, that fragment we just found? 
You mean this one that was in a safe? Yeah, that one. That was in a safe. Now that you mention it's ringing a lot of bells. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, okay, assemble the pieces. Uh, here, let me take this shard. I'll take a crack at this. Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie can do. Mr. Wright, here's some glue. If I can piece this together again, it'll prove Chief Gant was no knowingly hiding evidence. Here goes. Oh boy. Here we go. So, was he, uh, combining, uh, I mean, taking away evidence? Well, let's take a look. Oh, that's a perfect fit if I ever saw one. There! It fits like a charm. That, of course, means Chief Gant willingly and knowingly hit a piece of this jar in his safe. In other words, he concealed a piece of evidence from the SL9 incident. But... Hey guys, get a load of this! What is it? This piece you just attached? It's different from the others. It is? Ah, uh, what the hell? It's kind of weird. There's a reddish line on it! A reddish line? That's blood! I don't get it! Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? I don't know. That is very weird. Huh. Well, maybe you can say something about that. Oh wait, crap. No, no, no. Oh, let me just skip all this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, how about we... Hmm. How about we examine? Let's examine the... The desk. Oh, crap. Hold on. I'm trying to use the damn controls to move. I don't want to, I don't want to keep using the, uh, the mouse. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's examine the desk. Wow, look at the size of Chief Gant's desk! Speaking of that, when we were here earlier... Oh, yeah, and he said he put a piece of paper in his desk. I wonder what he was reading. This looks like a list of evidence, using a case. A list of evidence? In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this. Hey, look at the case name! Huh? Oh, I saw nine incident! I wonder what this is doing here. Oh, hold on, Detective. What did you just say? I said, I wonder what... No, about the evidence lists. Normally, they're twice as long? That's right. I guess there wasn't a lot of evidence. Half-sized list of evidence. And remember, Edgeworth, he said the same thing. It seems too short. What would the other half of the list be doing here? I knew it! The Chief must be hiding about hiding something about that case! It would appear so. What? So, wait, there's another... Um... There's another, uh... Gee, uh, another freaking p uh, blah, 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 what the hell am I looking for? Evidence list? Oh, this is ripped in half, so only part of it remains. Huh. Okay, then. Well, we might keep taking a look around, but there's nothing really we can examine. So, I got a good idea. How about we whoop out the good old, uh, luminal testing fluid? See what we can find. Here. Whoa! Hello! Something appeared here. Whoa! This area, this area must have been covered in blood! Is this from that incident? It must be. When Prosky and Mir Marshall was murdered. Two years have passed, the reaction's kind of dull. So, murder really did take place here. Wow. Well, okay. Let's uh, present the evidence list real quick. See if he has anything to say about it. That's what a chief was reading before, isn't it? You know, when, was, when, when we first came in here... Yeah, it looks like the right side of the form has been torn off. So Mr. Edgeworth's list really is, was only half of the whole thing. 
But something else is bugging me more than that. Take a look at the back of that form, pal. The back? Uh, of course, I sure, I should have uh, checked the back, but I didn't. What the hell is that? Yo, you gotta be kidding me! Is that what I think it is? I wonder what this is. It looks like someone drew some kind of sketch here. What is it? Did you find something? I can't make it out. I probably keep quiet about it for now. Huh? Oh, um, no, it's nothing. Why are your eyes moving about like that, Mr. Wright? I better not forget about that. This picture. Why would a picture like that be in there? That is weird. Hmm. Well, I got one more. I got another thing up my sleeve. How about the, um... There was a handprint of that thing that we got, right? The... Uh... What was it? We got that little piece of cloth with a handprint on it. So why don't we, uh... Uh, check out the, uh... Fingerprints on it, but I think you ha what you have to do is present the, uh... The set to him. That's a gumshoe. I'd like you to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is! So you want to take someone's fingerprints? That's a great idea, detective! Alright, go to town! Sheesh! What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Go ahead, take my fingerprints! Um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Huh? Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. We're talking about that cloth we just found in the safe. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. Ah, uh, the one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh, what's your sense of humor? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Swingle the powder on the cloth, and then once they've been absorbed in the prints, blow the rust away. Where are you, my mom? I don't have to be told a million times. Alright, let's get this over with. So, yeah, once again, we, um, choose a finger. It seems like the middle finger is actually pretty decent, so... Check that out. So, once again, we, uh... Spread a little bit on. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Don't forget to enable the mic. There we go. I'm so glad that works now. Oh yeah, we got a good print here. Sprinkle a little bit more. A bit more on the sides. Yeah, okay, that should be good. So now we just gotta... <sighs> I gotta wait a little bit. Da, 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 da. Come on, are you done yet? There we go. So, let's see what we have to compare with. It's not Damon, it's not Mike, not Jake, not Bruce, not Dick. Uh, it doesn't look like Lana. Whoa! Why is Emma's print on here? Wow, what? What is it what does this have to do with Emma? Why is it in the safe? Why is her handprint on that piece of cloth? What the hell's going on? No. How can this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match? Whose fingerprints were they? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, seems the prints are too old. They aren't clear enough to get a match. Oh, that's too bad. I thought they'd be Dark's prints. Psst. Hey, you, over here. What's going on here? What are your. What's that kid's prints doing inside that you safe? Don't ask me! I'll just keep this information from Emma for now. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Oh, man. Well, was, that, was I any help? Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. No, that's not very kind, is it? In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, you he would have been useless. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Oh, shit.